Question number 15 regarding measuring instrument and it touches both the vernier calipers as well as the screw gaze. In a vernier calipers, each 1 cm on main scale MS is divided into 8 equal divisions. That means 1 main scale would be 1 by 8 cm. And a screw gaze with 100 divisions in circular scale. So there is a screw gaze where there are total number of 100 divisions in circular scale. First let me cover up with the vernier caliper cause the things are quite intermixed. In vernier caliper, 5 divisions of vernier scale coincides with 4 divisions on main scale. So with this particular data, I will be able to calculate the least count of vernier caliper which says that 5 vernier scale division is 4 main scale division and 1 VST would be 4 by 5 MST. So with this token least count of vernier caliper is 1 MST minus of 1 VST so that would be 4 by 5 total of MST and that is 1 by 5 MST and that will be 1 by 40 centimeter would be the least count of vernier caliper. So that would be 1 by 4 millimeter. I will be requiring this data so let me erase this part now. I am short of space in this particular question. So here I will be getting the least count of vernier caliper that has come out to be 1 by 4 millimeter. Okay, now let us come with the circular scale. In the screw gaze there are 100 divisions in circular scale. So least count of the screw gaze would be pitch divided by 100 where pitch is denoted by P and it is the distance covered in one complete rotation. But some extra facts as well and in screw gaze one complete rotation of circular scale moves it by two divisions on linear scale. So additionally one more fact that pitch is twice the linear scale. It means suppose if the pitch is 1 millimeter that means there are demarcations of 0.5 millimeter and 0.5 millimeter. So in one complete revolution when the circular scale advances by 1 millimeter it would have already covered two scales that is how the linear scale of screw gaze is made. So now if the pitch is twice the least count of vernier caliper, the least count of screw gaze is this much. So everything is there. It is all now you start satisfying these four conditions and you would find that option number B and option number C would match according to the given question. So the correct option for question number 15 would be B and C. All right, now let us move to question number 16. Question number 16 is from units and dimensions where Planck's constant h, speed of light c and gravitational constant g are used to form a unit of length and a unit of mass. Then we got to choose these conditions. All right, so first of all, let us see the dimensions of Planck's constant. That would be energy by frequency ml squared t minus 1 speed of light that is quite obviously L t minus 1, gravitational constant m minus 1 L 3 t minus 2. You could readily calculate from F equals to g m 1 m 2 divided by r square. Okay, so with this thing in the first situation we are trying to form the unit of length. So in that new system L would be k g raised to the power a h raised to the power b and 
c raised to the power d let me do because c has already been used for velocity of light where k is the dimensionless constant. So, in the new system g h c have been taken as the fundamental quantities and we need to calculate the dimensions of length. So, that is l if I write in terms of dimension k will not have any dimension m minus 1 l 3 t minus 2 raised to the power a for h m l square t minus of 1 raised to the power b and this would be l t minus 1 raised to the power d. Now easily you could calculate the indices and thirds and finally you will get l equals to k where I have calculated the simultaneous equations g raised to the power half h raised to the power half and c raised to the power minus of 3 by 2. So, we will be referring to this value. Likewise, in the next situation what you do is mass m is in the same pattern you go and you solve the simultaneous equations where you will be getting m is g minus half that has to be minus half h raised to the power half c raised to the power half. All right, you may add k which is another dimensionless constant that is required. Now from these it is very easy to choose m directly proportional to root c that is valid, m directly proportional to root g is not valid, l directly proportional to root h that is valid, l directly proportional to root g is again valid. So, question number 16 will have correct option as a, c and d.